Hey guys, Jamie with Coleman RC School coming at you again on part three uh, of our mystery mini quad 250 build. We've got Bo over here slacking as usual in the shop. It just looks like crap. Uh, right. um, I don't know what he does during the day, but anyway, um, he's going to be going through this uh, build and continuing on installing the Naze flight controller tidying up all the wiring and um, doing uh, what he does right. best. I fly the uh, things, right. he builds them. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll show you part three. Okay, guys, <clears throat> here we go. I've elected to make this the uh, the front of the quad. Um, if you'll notice, I have now installed the Naze Acro board. And in our part two, if you recall, we had installed our power distribution board, or PDB for short, and I simply use a nylon standoff here, a nylon standoff here, and then a nylon screw here to stack the uh, the two plates in the uh, the middle of the frame. So, looking from a top view, if you recall, we also oriented the uh, the front of the board 90 degrees to the right. This is simply for easier access to the mini USB cable that we'll need uh, to do any uh, changes to our configuration. I failed to mention that in the last part. So that's why we're moving this 90 degrees. Otherwise, this would be to the rear and it's very difficult to plug up when you have your top plate on your battery straps, your camera, your transmitter, whatever you have mounted uh, either inside um, the quad or on the top of the plate. So, so, if you'll notice, we've taken each of our servo wires um, coming from e each ESC and it is being <laughs> plugged in to this bank here. We have, uh, the motors are numbered one, <laughs> two, three, and four. Now we have number one, we find this wire here. It is the only motor that uses the signal, the, the power cable, and the negative. The rest of the motors, one, uh, motors two, three, and four, will only have the signal wire. So what I've already done with these other two wires, as I stated earlier, is I only need the orange signal wire. <clears throat> In the case of a, uh, a red, uh, white, and black, you'll only need the white uh, on, a, on a JR type wire. So I simply just separate these wires. You can snip them if you like. Um, it just depends on how much time you want to take on it. This is just a budget build. I wanted to see how affordable I could build one and how quick I could build one. Right now I've got r approximately one hour, maybe two hours in this in this uh, total build. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a uh, an X-Acto knife. We're going to get up under the, uh, the lead here. And we're going to pull this wire out. Okay. Then we're going to go into the power wire and we're going to pull it out. So now we have a servo lead with only the signal wire. And then we're going to plug it in. My mistake, this is number three. And the, uh, the signal lead is at this top post. The ground is at the bottom post. Again, very, very important you keep your polarity straight or you're going to fry or you're going to fry a board. So just to double check, we have one, and then two, trace two down, which is correct, three, here, and then four, find four here. The orange wire actually has a shade of yellow to it, but just to confirm, there's the, there's the brown and there's the red, so we don't need those. You can also do it another way. <clears throat> you can take your number two servo lead 
you can reinsert each of these into these remaining two ports provided you have them numbered two, three, and four. And then you can plug it horizontally in just these top two pins. But for the sake of time, we're doing it this way. So now we have all of our servo leads coming from our ESCs. <coughs> and um, we move to the, the uh, receiver. This is just a, uh, a Spectrum 610 sport receiver. Nothing fancy. We're not going to have a lot of range on this Mini. And if you'll notice, we have a break, what's called a breakout cable. Um, some are colored, some are not. And only one wire of this breakout cable, just like our nays that we just plugged up into our servo leads, has a signal, positive, or power wire, and a negative. That goes into our throttle. And then we're going to consecutively plug each of these remaining wires in with the negative at the top corner of this breakout lead. And then we're going to proceed across. You'll notice it's black, red, white, brown, green, and then it drops to the bottom. Then it goes yellow and orange and continues across. Now it's going to plug in just like this. I don't know if you can see it clearly. We're just going to plug into the front of the nays just like this. And if you can see, I know the, the focus on this uh, GoPro may not allow you to see your first run is negative, then it begins one, two, three, four, and continues on the back side, five, six, seven, eight. So what we've done is we very quickly, by use of the breakout cable, plugged our receiver, uh, and now all we have to do is bind, but this is just a uh, bind extension. It makes it a little uh, easier to, to bind for his accessibility. And, uh, after we get this bound up, then we're going to test the rotation of our motors. <clears throat> okay guys, I've reversed uh, these two motors <clears throat> where they'll have uh, proper rotation. I'm plugged back up into uh, the base flight configurator. And uh, I have just uh, set the, uh, uh, the ESCs on all four. What I did is I just simply um, unplugged my battery and then I raised my master all the way up, plugged in the battery, and then when the ESCs beeped, then I quickly dragged the master down, and that uh, synced the endpoints for all the ESCs. And then right now I'm on uh, the last motor, number one. We should be at like 1063, I, I think it was, 1064. There it is right there. So 62, 63. All motors are starting now between 62 and 63. That's so now we have proper rotation on all, all four motors. Um, if you'll notice, I've taken the let me unplug the battery here, and we can disconnect from base flight, disconnect from our flight controller. I've taken all of the uh, wiring and. Uh, cleaned it up. I'm going to mount my receiver on the top so I'm going to leave this open where I can pull it through the top plate. Simply grabbing some black electrical tape. You, you can get fancy. Um, you can get some of this wire wrap like this. They make all kind of colors. But in this, uh, on this budget builder, some call it a, a bash quad. Um, we've got everything tie strapped in, everything secured. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble the top plate, we're going to get our receiver fixed to the top plate, and then uh, after this we'll be ready to try for a, uh, a maiden, but on part four we're going to uh, um, go into the base flight a little more, we're going to show you some setups, we're going to show you uh, how to go to uh, your auxiliary channels on your, uh, your radio, and you can set up uh, 
horizon mode, acro mode, and uh, rate mode, which will give you some different performance in your mini after you've established uh, flying it and you get comfortable with it. So uh, this concludes part three. I hope you've enjoyed it.